Hello, and welcome back. We're standing here with Robo Zombie, uh, and Crispin, and Horatio, and a pipe. And a, oh, a sign. That robot over there is really giving me the creeps. I'm sorry, Crispin. First things first, before we continue, you may remember that in the first episode... Shut up. God. In the first episode of this, uh, I talked about how Horatio sounded like a pretty, your pretty standard white male lead. White male protagonist. Uh, well, it turns out his voice act. Shut up. Turns out his voice actor. Like Ian McKellen and Ian McShane, who was a, who was a big influence on, on Bastion, actually. Totally not white. In fact, he's the guy who narrated Bastion, and he's f awesome in that. My arbitrary need for uh, black characters is not satiated, because even though everybody here is fucking robots, and functionally devoid of skin color, still, I now feel like, yay, I'm playing something that deviates from the established norms a little bit. A little bit. Maybe. I mean, it deviates a lot. I mean, there isn't this kind of adventure game. You know what? Never mind. This whole social, this whole social justice angle is a little bit broken from the beginning. This one, not in general. Ugh, I cannot say nothing inflammatory while playing this, can I? God damn it, I am sorry. What's better, though? What's gonna be nicer for you to hear? I made a list of things that we're going to achieve today. Not because I feel particularly motivated to achieve things, or because I don't think I will. I will. It'll just take a lot longer. But I made a little list. Had a look at the walkthrough ahead of time. So first of all, let's look at this sign. Factor facilities decommissioned. We already did this. I see. I thought I had not done this. My cat is at the microphone. He is like, what is going on? Marcus, why are you talking to this thing? <sighs> well, you hear the piece of paper. This piece of paper is what's important. There. So, first thing's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Christopher what he thinks we should do. Time to give Gimbal his motor back, right boss? Not yet. We need some copper wiring. We should definitely explore the cliffside arcology next. What? Oh, I guess we haven't found that yet. <laughs> nice! I'm so happy. To figure things out? I'm just a sidekick, boss. When I was playing this before we started recording, like from the save point, which I just relo reloaded, you said something that was actually interesting and useful. You please stop bothering me. I'm trying to finish this level of Zgrid. What? You know, that puzzle game you installed on me when you built me. But look, you have your puzzles, I have mine. And I have a cat. I'm gonna ignore him. He's fine. <laughs> he is fine. He just wants to get in the other room, but he'd be bothering my roommates. Uh, alright. What's this pipe? Worth bothering with. What is it? Some kind of wastewater. Gross. The current is pushing all the junk up against the bridge's supports. Ugh. Rust smell. It's like some floating junk There's behind no him. There's no way to reach it while that thing is standing there. Dagnabbit. Cat. Now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. Dagnabbit. Crispin, talk to him. Just build me a missile launcher and I'll get right on it. Why are we deciding that he's dangerous? And then what? Uh, let's stick to missiles. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay, hold on. He's not the robot who was given the bomb, right? He might be, so maybe I'll shamefully have a try at that. I want to provoke it. Oh, I already did that, of course. It might have exploded. Would have been. Well, that would have been as gross as the crowbar solution from the last game. Never mind, we're leaving. This place is gross. This game is gross. My thinking is gross. I'm happy about how gross my thinking is. So, uh, what happened last episode? Well, we got a num. Shut up. We got a bunch of prime numbers from our friend over there whose name I forgot. Damn it. What was his name? I don't care. We have another exit this way that we never actually checked out. Mmm. There's a whole new area, except the kind of. Ends. We can't reach it. I see. I can't reach it from here. Oh, I see things. There's something up there on the crane. I think this is where There's we meet Clarity, but we're crane. not supposed to know that yet. I can't possibly reach that. Crispin, float. Crispin, can you try typing something into that keypad? If by typing you mean ram <laughs> my face, then yes, boss. I suppose I can. Nice. <laughs> I love this. I don't know what number this could possibly be, though. Let's try leet. That normally works. It's, it's a three-digit code. Son of a bitch. Didn't work. 
I'm gonna let my cat out. I'm sorry. Pause! Unpause! Okay, I let my cat out. Sorry about that. He says hi. Alright. What? What is even? I can't do anything here. Sorry, Crispin. I made you ram your face for nothing. Well, now, I, I mean, I already resolved the issue. Now I just need the key, key code. Right, solve the puzzles associated. It's a raised drawbridge. Yes, it is. I can't reach it from here. Fucking throw a fan belt at it or some shit. You can do it. I believe in you. What's this crane? Huge crane? Cool. The kind we could use back at the unique, huh? It's a huge crane. Well, both buttons did the same thing. All right, we're going back. <sighs> Follow me slowly, Crispin. Um, large hatch. Okay. Well, I already checked that for everything. Let's get on this ladder. I got a burp. Okay. Didn't burp. We pulled. Let me see your stuff. I don't know that I need anything else from you right now, but I just feel good looking at your stuff. Alright. First things first. We saw... Oh, Jesus, this robot. There's all, always an, there's always one new sprite around here. It's really cool. We gotta talk to Oswald. I just... Actually, no we don't. <laughs> Alright. First we gotta have a look at the bar. We gotta interact with it. And then, arm robot friend does some stuff. What's going on? A little note. What's this? That's the menu. What it's is this? From the bartender. My programming requires me to serve Oswald, but he is consuming dangerous levels of oil. Please intervene. Oh, jeez. Okay. Thank you for taking care. Alright. How do we stop him? I think we use this mug to smack him in the... No, we don't. Close. Oil is just robot beer. I love this. I love that. <laughs> I love that in any alternate, like, fantasy or sci-fi universe, there's just some alternative for beer. That's, like, sort of sort of makes sense a little. I feel like oil for robots might have been done before, though. Maybe in a Pixar movie, I don't know. I just saw Rex over at the train station. What? Is he lost? Maybe so. Yay, he's leaving. Right. Oh. Never knew you had it in you, boss. To lie? And I'm gonna steal his oil. Thank you. I was gonna also ask him to stop drinking, but I kind of forgot, so I guess we missed that bit of dialogue. Oh well, he was probably gonna go, Oh, pshaw! And some variant on that. So now we're here. He isn't. The AA gun still is, and I'm still intimidated. No periods. How droll. How droll. Oh, he's all concerned. I feel bad for lying to him, though. I am playing with someone else's emotions. Is there a clock in here somewhere? I think it's not here. Uh, oh, there it is. It's a clock. I can't make out the time under all the dust and soot. Alright, soot. Oh, gross. That means explosions and burning and oil. Oil? I mean, and fire and... <laughs> I meant fire. Not here. I want to send Crispin up there. Crispin, I'm going to use you on the clock. That's that's what Crispin, the game says. I, mean, check what that clock I can't says. really... Alright. <laughs> that rising animation. I love that a shadow just follows him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come back down. You can't yell it or anything. Maybe yelling expends a lot of battery. I don't know. It stopped at five minutes to two. Hmm. All right. Well, that wasn't important. <laughs> I just thought there might be some dialogue related. Oh well. It's it's something the walkthrough mentioned. I don't know. All right. What's next? Mm, we got the oil. Stole it from Oswald. Is he here now? Yes, he is. I saw Rex again! Goodbye. It's probably just gonna make him leave. No Arm? sense trying to talk with him. Is he gonna give me another message? That'd be adorable. Kinda want it. Maybe he's gonna give me something else for the for the oil. I think he's just gonna give me a message. He's got like a face! He's got like an almost face. No, he's just serving people. I didn't ever see him move before though. He's gonna give me a robo beer. Come on. That arm robot appears to be the bartender here. Hi. He's a considerate bartender. 
He doesn't want his people dying really badly. <sighs> He's not gonna give me a message or a gift, is he? Fuck it. Alright. Now, now what we need is some copper, right? Well, let's go check out the crashed bus. Because now, I actually know what I need. Specifically, and where to get it. Hey buddy, can you give me some copper while Crispin floats over really slowly? What do you want? There's a locked bridge. Oh, Down yeah. In the underworks. I came across a drawbridge underworks, that someone locked up, so it can't be used. Do you know how to fix it? Well, Metroline closed off the underworks for public safety, so I don't do repairs there anymore. Okay. But what? That sounds like a prank pulled by a bolt brain calling himself Prima. He used to hack locks at Metropole and change the passcodes around to leave his signature. Oh and man. Fix the locks. Metromine cracked his codes and reset them. Processing power like hers, there's nothing she can't do. Well then, you know, it is, I guess it is a three-digit thing. Mind isn't gonna help us on this one. No, but we're not exactly new to cracking codes either. Sweet. So that's only a three-digit code. So that's that would end only a number. So that would not take a lot of tries to crack. That's only what. What is that? Is it actually 999 possibilities? I think it is, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the math checks out oh. here. I just got that song out of my head. Oops. Again, I interrupted him, and I don't know what that song is. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it like played on the radio when or the record, and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we have a record player back at the Unique, don't we? It's and we have this record. record entitled Children Sing Along. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to use this or just like go home and listen to it. All right, what's happening now, though? Floater. Can I talk to you with this? Don't bother her. Whoa. No, wait, I was supposed to ask the repair bot for one more thing. Don't bother her. You again? What Jesus. do you want? Alright, could you help me fix this motor? Could you help me fix this motor? Does it belong to Metropole? No, it's private property. I see. Find a private repair bot. God Goodbye. damn it. Alright, can you help us now? Beep, beep. A floating light bot. It's cool. holding a spool of copper wire. It is. It? it? Dude. What is she? Dude, come on. <laughs> All right, as long as you're respectful and considerate of her rights as a floating lamp. Um, so what's going on? What do we want? Oh yeah, Crispin, why don't you ask her for that wiring? I've never had to talk to a lamp before, boss. I've got no practice. Well then, we better get you some practice, as I've written down on my piece of paper that I'm referencing a lot today. Use lamp on Crispin. Hey, Crispin how about practicing on this lamp? Oh, good idea. Seriously. This is going to okay, be horrible. Okay, here goes. You really light me up. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> Trust me. I know how to turn on a light. Crispin. Definitely not. Crispin. <laughs> okay, that's enough practice for now. He's got pink in his eyes. He did for a second for like once. I could have barely see it off the side of the screen just because the screen's broken. I've established this in a couple episodes. All right. Now go talk to her. All right, Crispin. It's now or never. <sighs> Let's do it. Practice on this lantern. I love that when I read it. All other. Whoa! That was so easy. So. She gave me a clipping of her copper wiring. Hey, that wire belongs to the city. That's coming out of your salary. Boop doop. You tell him. <laughs> Don't you think we should go check out oh, where yeah. Seven shot up the tower? Why? Maybe he blasted a way in for us. That might just be a diversion, and that's not actually a solution because we saw that there was a hole. There were like holes in the door, but none on the tower that we could see. Maybe we reached the tower in the underworks somewhere, uh, or a part of it. Basically, we got some copper wiring. Apparently. The walkthrough said Crispin gets a kiss. Maybe it was like merely implied and not as overtly obvious that that was what happened. A robo kiss, where you'll just like float up in the face of someone and go. Alright. Copper wiring on motor. She gave that to me as a token of her affection. I'll give you all the copper wiring you want once we're done here. But Aww. I want a token of your affection. I need to find <laughs> a way guy. to connect the colored nodes to each other without crossing any wires. Why don't we just use oh. the plasma torch? That's not going to work this time. The crowbar? Nope. All of them to each other without crossing any wires, huh? Oh, do I actually need to draw this? Oh, I see. 
I see. I've made a few mistakes in my day, and this is one of them. <laughs> Can I cut this? Whoa, what? Oh, I see. It's just a carefulness thing. And there. One more piece of junk is operational. I'm sure that's stable. I'm sure none of those wires are just, like, hanging out hopelessly right next to each other. That was not a complicated puzzle. I was hoping for something a little more, like, mentally demanding and not just of careful mouse drawing. I could have... I should have drawn a dick in there, shouldn't I? Like a copper wiring penis. Damn it. I really missed an opportunity. I am sorry. Alright, gimbal. Take your fucking motor piece of garbage. Uh, I li li like you as a person. My joy rises like Felix. Okay. You are silent and now I'm happy. Okay then. Good luck, you. Bye. Apparently Gimbal is a he? At least according to the walkthrough. Defs has a female voice actor. Sometimes it's nice to just be along for the ride. Alright, I guess. So now all this left is attending to 187th. I got the number wrong, I thought it was 178th. Gosh. No, I wrote 187th! I am a smart. Okay. Let's talk to him a little bit more. Hi. You're scary. I met Primer. I met Primer. You still crazy? Yeah. <laughs> well, so it goes. Goodbye. I'll run out, sir. <coughs> I like that he's polite. That was really cool. I was expecting a really scary dude up here. I thought it was a guard at first. So, let's see. Have we earned anything new? We have a note. It's the note from the bartender asking me to stop Oswald from drinking. Maybe I should give that to Oswald? I don't know. Show him that dangerous... I don't know if I'm... I'll try to show it to him. There was a sign, actually, that I could have read, huh? I'm gonna try reading that for a sec. Go to burp. Courthouse closed until further notice, pursuant to civil ordinance section 889-B1C. Okay. Wow. Can I read about that particular thing that you just mentioned in my page of laws? Probably not. So what do we do now? We have the sad robot... We don't have our book to read uplifting verses to him from. And besides, it's blasphemy. Uh, yeah, this print out. You. It's written by Clarity Arbiter Belt. Clarity Arbiter Belt. It about the oh. refuge rule and says that Let's for see. the first 48 hours after a robot arrives at Metropole, it will not be punished for violations of any laws except for harming another robot or causing significant property damage. Okay. I'm kind of worried that I've been causing significant property damage. Maybe not yet. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Will not be punished for. Okay, I guess my vi my 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 contraband had to be removed regardless of whether or not I would be like reprimanded for it, uh, having it in my possession. Still grumpy about the flipping Horatio book of man. Five. What? I am what? I have okay. Been you. Oh God. I am always watching. Hi. I know what you are doing. Okay. I know why you are here. That's good. You are welcome in my city. Thank you. That welcome can be taken away. Oh. And there are worse things to lose than a power core. Well, I mean... Fun you times are not being had. Tyro, but you're poking at the wrong sun. I'll bear that in mind. Alright. Robot, small robot! I meant to say spider, small robot. Not much of a conversationalist. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a noise! Wow! Weirdly, that really reminded me of Yume Niki, Dream Diary. Wow! Okay. It was like that kind of, I guess, uh, RPG maker variety of noise. This Let's must see. This where 187th Legion build tried shooting the door, but the damage is entirely superficial. I see. Amateurs. <laughs> I even turned to him like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is awesome. Can I, like, inspect this console without interacting with it? That was what I wanted to do here. Nope. This is a really long code to try to crack. So, I guess, are we going to try to crack the code and the drawbridge? I guess it's three digits, it'll only take 999 tries. Right? 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 Okay. I kind of want to do the math real quick. Part of me just wants to go all the way to the top and then go sliding down. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, it's ten. It's uh, not. It's, it's one thousand. It's not nine hundred ninety-nine. 
visits, 10 possible digits times 10 possible digits times 10 possible digits. That's a lot, man. That's the, that's the divide sign. I'm doing some paper math real quick for excitement because it's a fun, boring this game. I don't like life. But then... We should look around and see if there's a way to lower that drawbridge, boss. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Hmm. I think I've gotten everything. Yep, everything that I had written down. So now we're just wandering, being stupid. I'm going to minimize this for a second and check how long I've been recording. Twenty minutes is a good episode length, but all we've really achieved here is given Gimbal her motor and made her go, Thank you, I will now leave. Which was sweet. And I'm happy for her being happy. Uh, wait, for they being happy, because they they might be gender neutral. I don't know, I, I doubt they care. Alright. Thing. Can I talk to the thing? Crispin, check out the thing! Boss, I'm not in the business of flying over to Spooky Island <laughs> to investigate things that you're curious about. Aww. But it might be a killer robot with a grudge against witty sidekicks. Dun dun dun! He's going to say helpful. Oh. Also, dun dun dun! Alright. That was supposed to be dramatic music, but I did it way too quick. <laughs> it just sounds like me going, dun dun dun! <sighs> Alright. What are our other options? The control pad for the bridge. Probably. You don't know that. Some lights around the crane. What could we do about. I, I, I'm totally gonna. Go on. Well, this is, this is a really energetic it's episode. There to the signal. There's a thing! A thing! Can we see the signal? Maybe sure. I can trigger it from here. What, really? Oh, that's also an option. Wait, but... Really? Hold on a sec, but that's a three-digit thing. We've got four digits okay. here. Okay, wait. This is important. We can totally spell out LEET. No luck. Fuck! Pointless. God, we're, this is over. Crispin help. Someone around here's gotta know something about how to get that bridge to go down, boss. Maybe we just gotta ask more people then. Let's try that out, I guess. Someone around here's gotta know something. So, wait, Primer was like a jerk. He gave us a bunch of prime numbers. We have that list now, but I don't know how we're supposed to determine. Maybe we should find a number in that list that isn't a prime number. Maybe already hinted at it for us. But let's ask him directly about it first before we go just chasing clues. Do you, there's a dangerous looking robot just past here. Dangerous looking robot just past here. Yeah, what about yeah, him? Aren't you worried he's gonna eat you or something? I've seen him quite often, though he'll not see me. And so we are happy as neighbors can be. Can you hide us from him? If I could, I would not, but the choice is not mine. There's no room in his brain to be for the primed. I don't I'm not sure what you mean. Unless you are a jerk and actually messed up with his brain. All right. Do you know anything about Let's that locked it. bridge past the cars? Yeah. What I know is a vault locked tight with a key, which only a fool would open for free. Fine. What do you want? Yeah. Was well, that a fool a peddler is he who opens his locks for merely a fee? Come on. I repeat, what do you want? Nothing more <laughs> than to sit here and see if you are into little bros are smarter than me. Well, all right, I guess. Yeah, right. No. Damn Goodbye. it. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. So, I think chasing the prime numbers in our data pouch around, which I don't know if I show you yet, but he did. Wait, the clock says this? Is this important? That's not a prime number that divides by five. I'm gonna try it though, just because it's information in my data pouch for some reason. Uh, so someone told us already that, uh, maybe it was Leopold, that... No, it was the repair bot. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting who we can actually talk to for lengthy conversations. Uh, the repair bot told us that primer messes with keypads and such. So, I don't want to send him over because it takes an animation. I just skipped his text. I didn't... Fucking... I meant to press a button to make him go to an area. Damn it. Okay. Hmm... What's... I don't know how to actually enter it, because it's... Well, let's try. One... No, that's not what I want. One... Gosh, this is clumsy. One, five, five, zero. Is that no it? Luck. No, it's oh, one, five, five, zero, isn't it? I blew it! 
Golly, gosh darn. All right, come on. Ha. No luck. Well, that wasn't it. Crispin, it's time for you to go just because I don't want to mess around. Uh, yeah. Here we go again. Dude, I'm sorry. It is gross. I mean, you've got a really round face, too. Let's try it. One, five, five. No. Really thinks for a while, doesn't it? Point was, he gave us, well, Geo coordinates are also three numbers, but that's probably just like a design convenience that everybody just gives three numbers. All right, 187th, waiting to pay fine for shooting door to big tower. Opinion, insert of the company, 200 plots. Primer survived. Primer came off 50 spots. Hmm? Over 187. 50 spots. I don't know what that means. Spots in the line? I don't know. Okay, prime numbers. So, let's check. Maybe he's hidden a non-prime number in here, like I thought earlier. So, let's first do the obvious thing and look for any even numbers. That's a pretty simple challenge. Mm. And I'm probably going to spot one and not realize it. So I'm not good at counting numbers. Mm, none. Great. Do you have to check each of these? Can we get like a list of few digit prime numbers off the internet or something? 11? No. 13? No. 17? No. 19? No. Mm. Wait. 19? No. I was thinking of 21. Hmm, 23? 29, 31, 37, 31? No. I'm gonna have one more look through to see if I spot anything I recognize. 47? That's a hit, man. A hit, man. Um. 59? No. Damn it. 71? No. None that I can think of. 97, really? Gives us a whole list of these. 101, 103, 107. Not but itself. And one. Right? Right, of course. Anything that divides by three? That's like the simplest solution I can think of. I don't recognize anything. Let's, let's have another, another peek. Maybe I should check the walkthrough. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna get a list of prime numbers and compare them back to back, or maybe not. I don't know. No, I don't think I will. So, this is the only information he gave us, isn't it? There's nothing else that this. Wow, there's a lot of places here. Um, factor, bridge, court, tower, station, street, cars, cars, bridge. Okay. This thing is flashing. I still don't know what it does. It's just a memory. Thing. Maybe it helps. Maybe it is like a memory expansion port for this. 199. So weird. Check walkthrough. Found out uh, we're supposedly not supposed to be here yet. What the fuck is this on my table? I'm sorry. I just found a gross sticky patch right next to my mouse. Oh, wow! Disgusting. Great. Cool. No, we're not supposed to be here yet. Um, I'm gonna walk to where we're supposed to be. Tell you a little story while I wipe this sticky patch. One day, Super Mario was hanging out. In the Mushroom Kingdom. Then he saw... I don't remember. Story over. Exit. His full name is Super Super Mario, by the way. First name Super, middle name Super, in quotes, Mario. Alright. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to pick. Keep information. Uh, I guess we need to wait our turn. Oh, sorry. Delay that. I didn't. I wanted to talk to you. I didn't actually mean to. <laughs> I was supposed to. I expected the damage. I expected the damage. All you did was ding the metal. 
Well, sir, until someone shows me the law that says I don't have to pay, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Goodbye. Over and out, sir. I have a page of laws for you. This one. Look here. Under Metropole's refuge rule, a newcomer to the city is not liable for any superficial property damage caused within the first 48 hours of his arriving in the city. That's hilarious and awesome and cool. Well, <laughs> sir, I'll be crashed. Under the refuge rule, you're fine, given the minimal damage you caused. Well, for once, I can't complain about the besotting p shirts they gave me. I Yay. Report, sir. If I ever see you again, I'll be sure to repay the favor. That was me cleaning the uh, gross sticky spot. Oh my god, we did it. Let's... Oh, that, those were the sounds of him leaving. All right, into court we did it. Yay! Cool. So let's check it's the scanner. Card scanner. Cool. What happened? Crispin, you're my keycard. Get in here and let me like scan the thinnest part of your shell. Uh, what can I use in its place? Note. <laughs> I doubt I don't know. that will have any effect. Yeah, no, probably not. Try the door. Someday, that's going to work. Knocking. Sit, just like asking anybody home. I see, Crispin, you saucy. F There's gotta help. be a key for the courthouse door somewhere, boss. Well, I mean, it looks like we gotta lower that bridge anyway. But you'll see that happening next time I play this game. This is a 25 minute episode already, almost, I don't know, something like that. Uh, we'll figure out the bridge later. I'll read some more of the walkthrough, prepare another page of instructions for that time, and I'll see you then. Have a great one. I love you as my viewers. Mwah.